What type of jobs you can get after a bachelor's in biotech? Let's find out. First things first, you have to know that the biotech industry is a knowledge-driven, knowledge-intensive industry. So immediately after a bachelor's, you cannot get a very high-level job, but with experience, of course, you can climb there. Consider it this way. If you have done a bachelor's in uh, biotech and you do three years job, that's almost equivalent to a master's degree. And it's not that a master's degree will get a leverage, you will always get superiority. But having said that, Certain specialized jobs require a master's. So it is always wise to do a MSc in biotechnology instead of just starting your job after BSc. However, it is not that after BSc you don't get jobs. There are jobs in biotech sector for BSc candidates also. Now I'll first start with the old style jobs. So the jobs which are focused on the R&D side. So you get jobs like research assistant, microbiology technician, cell culture technician, molecular biology assistant, quality control executive, quality assurance executive. And you get jobs in biotech, pharma companies, vaccine companies, diagnostic companies, research institutes, and contract research organizations. Now, apart from that, coming to the manufacturing side, you can get jobs easily into the production side. Um, for example, India Immunologicals, Biocon, these kind of companies are hiring extensively for BSc candidates. They hire you for production executive job, bioprocess technician job, fermentation executive job or downstream processing executive job. Now, apart from that, you also get jobs in the new age era. So now the old style jobs I told you, let's come to the new style. So the new style jobs are into computational biology, bioinformatics and AIML. So there you can do some two to three months of skill gap training and development program at Biotechnica and you can become a bioinformatics trainee or a bioinformatics assistant. You can become a genome data analyst, you can become an NGS data analyst, you can become a computational biology assistant. Now as you'll gain experience in the company, in the job, of course your salary will increase and you will uh, get better prospects. But having said that, there are other new age jobs also available as of today. Now for for example, regulatory affairs executive, medical writer, medical coder, pharmacovigilance associate, clinical documentation executive, clinical research, clinical data management jobs are also available for BSc candidates. Now, apart from that, you also have certain jobs in sales, marketing, teaching and business development roles, but uh, that will be something which you might be interested, might not be interested. Now, apart from that, you also get jobs as a content uh, developer and uh, science communicator. So let me know in the comment section which particular role you want a detailed video and I'll make that exclusively for all of you. All the best.